Uh, we're going to take you to the UK now, where Brexit has taken an ugly turn in Westminster. Conservative MP Anna Soubry faced chants from protesters calling her a, a liar and a Nazi as she was giving a televised interview. Uh, in response, more than 50 MPs have called on the Metropolitan Police to improve its response to abusive protesters. After it happened, another Brexit commentator, Femi Oluwolu, uh, filmed this video of Anna Soubry outside the Houses of Parliament. You lost, you lost the people's vote. Anna, Anna, you're a fascist. Anna, fascist. Anna Soubry, you're a fascist. You need to show that there are children. You're a fascist. Anna, why don't you call the CDL without and, uh, any proof? Two, 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 two police chairs. Anna, you're full of lies. Anna, Anna, you're full of lies. Anna, you're full of lies. Well, a prominent uh, journalist, Owen Jones, says he faced a similar experience. He posted this video online. Have some, have some roast gammon. Oh, you're angry, aren't you? A well, let's get some more on this uh, from our correspondent, Vincent McAvinney, who's in Westminster for us. Uh, morning to you, Vincent. Uh, just tell us um, who these people are and what response there's been uh, from uh, well, Westminster and more widely uh, to the abuse that they suffered. Good morning, Belle. Well, this is the green outside of Parliament. It belongs to Parliament and it is where journalists like myself broadcast day in, day out. And for the past couple of months, as Brexit has really come to the fore, there's been uh, protesters coming down here, both leave and remain, and they've been kind of waving flags and they've been debating, they've been handing out leaflets, and it's been pretty good natured. But a couple of weeks ago, a small group of quite far right protesters, people who support the likes of Tommy Robinson, started coming down and they've been hurling abuse at broadcasters here, at journalists, they've been heckling uh, MPs as we saw in that video but it really has now stepped up into something quite ugly and whilst many people agree that legitimate forms of protest should be going on here, I think as we saw in that video that Anna Soubry, who is a pretty formidable ex-minister, she's a former television journalist, she's a former uh, barrister, she's tough as old boots but really what they were doing there was threatening and intimidating and she she made her way from the interview where she'd been held abuse at all the way through over to the House of Commons where she works. And so she is now questioning why the police who protect the Houses of Parliament didn't step in. And some 50 other MPs have written today to the Metropolitan Police asking this question because there has been this rising climate of uh, abuse towards MPs. We had, of course, the tragic murder of Joe Cox back in 2016. I think MPs are worried now that this has gone a little bit too far and that there is a threat to public safety down here. Owen Jones, who you also showed, is someone who I have myself witnessed having this kind of abuse from the same group of people who are coming down here and they're not here to kind of further democratic chat. They're here to intimidate and to abuse people.